The governor looked down as he broke the news government employees have long dreaded. Because of budget shortfalls, the VI government will now have to lay off up to 1,000 government employees. And for that, the governor blamed the senators. By declining to proceed with a reasonable set of actions, they have left us no choice but to take some steps that I have worked hard to avoid over the last three years. The governor says slips will first go out this Friday for 143 temporary, per diem, and part-time employees who will be let go. In addition to those layoffs, the governor's news that up to 1,000 more government employees will get laid off has left government employees wondering how will government agencies decide who gets terminated. I directed Kenneth Herman, the director of personnel, to complete the preparation of the list of those employees of the government whose tasks and functions have been deemed by the heads of the departments and agencies where they serve as not being essential. Today, OMB Director Deborah Gottlieb will be issuing letters to executive branch departments and agencies noting the amount of reductions required. Meanwhile, the Department of Labor says they've been preparing for a mass amount of layoffs to take place since June when it first looked like the layoffs were going to happen. Now that the layoffs are inevitable, the Department of Labor is recommending that those who are let go to have their last two pay stubs so they can seek unemployment benefits and start the job search immediately. The most important thing now is to make sure you have your last two pay stubs and you have some form of ID um, when, you, when that is announced so you can be prepared and get your paperwork filed as quickly as possible. What's most important now is to move into a, a, a position of action. And for those people that may be affected or feel that they may be affected come February or March as, as the situation progresses, those people as well start looking now uh, for opportunities. According to the governor, the additional layoffs will come by the end of January, which means the Department of Labor will have more layoffs to handle in a month. Alison Bourne-Vanak, News 2.